Hey, welcome to the plant-based scratch kitchen. I'm gonna show you how to make my version of the jam thumbprint cookie. Here's my mise en place, all my ingredients basically ready to go. First of all though, I'm going to add some fresh ground nutmeg. The nutmeg just really gives a flavor burst to the cookie and gives it a bit of a holiday um, twist to it as well. But you can make these cookies any time of the year as I do and enjoy them year round. So let's get started. I have my almond flour. I have basically two cups of almond flour. Then I have some ground flaxseed. I just freshly ground this in a coffee grounder. I then have my uh, cinnamon and salt and the nutmeg. And then as an option, I'm adding some chopped up walnuts. You don't have to add these, but I just wanted to give it a little more texture to the cookie. And just combine till it's uh, thoroughly stirred. And then we can switch to the wet ingredients. Now, here's my wet ingredients. I have my maple syrup. This is the primary sweetener. I'm not using any other refined uh, sweeteners, some vanilla, and then my applesauce. My applesauce also replaces the oil in this recipe. So basically I have no added oil, no refined sugar, and of course it's gluten free. And just keep stirring until you get a stiff dough ball. You'd think you need to add more moisture, but you don't. The applesauce really combines nicely with the almond flour. And then we're ready to start making the cookies. You can see how stiff this gets. It's ready to go. Now, before we start with the cookies though, we need to take a baking tray line it with some parchment paper and this also replaces any need for oil on the pan. Now using a couple spoons you can make some small uh, dough uh, sized cookies about the size of a ping pong ball or a quarter and just keep going until you get the whole tray full. My recipe makes about 18 to 20 uh, cookies. Now, using your, your palms of your hands, you can just roll these little balls. And if your hands are slightly wet, it just helps to um, the dough not to stick to your hands. And just keep going. And now we start to make the little imprint with our thumb. If you have kids helping, they really love getting involved at this point um, to make the imprints. And then you can shape the cookie a little bit too as uh, it spreads out a little bit with your thumb and you're ready to go. Now, we're gonna start adding our jams. I have some organic blueberry jam from Maine. It's wonderful. And then I also have some organic strawberry jam. You wanna use a full jam, no lights, uh, no light jams because they tend to have more water and they're gonna uh, evaporate. So I put this in the oven at 350 for about 18 minutes and you can see the cookies are done. They're cooling on a cooling rack and then just using some powdered sugar. I'm going to just put this uh, lightly on top. Don't worry about it getting onto the jam because the jam will absorb the uh, icing sugar and it'll just remain on the edges as you'll see here in a second. Here you have the finished cookie strawberry as well as blueberry with the dusting. These look really wonderful, really flavorful, great tasting cookie. Now you can get the recipe at my new cookbook, Clean Endurance at speakingwellness.com. And here's the full recipe. Thanks for watching. Share and subscribe to the Plant-Based Scratch Kitchen.